Is the virtual reality oasis closer than we thought? How NFT games like Axie Infinity are opening up a virtual world to the masses. Have you ever watched Ready Player One and thought, I wonder if this could actually happen one day? Well, you don't have to wonder anymore. Because crypto and VR headsets like Oculus Quest are making virtual worlds a reality. Remember Oasis currency from Ready Player One? Innovators in the crypto space like Axie Infinity are determined to make something similar actually materialize with their NFT-based game based on AXS and Smooth Love Token. Axie Infinity is also in the process of rolling out Lunasia, which consists of over 90,000 plots of customizable tokenized land called Terra. The developers plan to fully implement Lunasia by the end of 2022. The world will consist of six different land types. Luna's Landing, Savannah Land, Forest Land, Arctic Land, Mystic Land, and Genesis Land. Land will be filled with NFT items you can find and collect, along with location-specific lore. If you couple the system that Axie Infinity is working on, with the virtual reality headset, it sounds like we've got ourselves an oasis. Tokens like Axie Infinity's Smooth Love Token and AXS are considered social tokens. And Rao Powell, CEO of investment firm Real Vision, is particularly bullish on them. So let's say you are Disney. How many fans does Disney have? What is their community? If they were to bring them together as a community, I would guess a billion people, maybe two, maybe three. Okay, so there's a three billion people who love Disney, parts of Disney. And they will consume Disney in a number of different ways. So why not? How does Disney access their fans right now? They have to rent them back off them, off Facebook, YouTube, Google, Apple Music, Apple TV, Spotify, you know, they have to rent them back and pay away economics. By by that, do you mean that they advertise through these platforms to get them to like go to their parks and watch their movies? And exactly, because okay. they don't have a direct relationship with their fans. Mm -hmm. The only point that they ever do is when they walk into the Disney store or walk into the into the theme park. But what tokens do is give them direct access to those fans because you now have a relationship where that token is the currency of the Disney world. So I can buy things. And if I happen to be a currency owner, I can get things that are discounts. I can get certain access. I might get to see the film a week early. I, I get so many benefits that I value as a fan. And I might get Disney Plus at a discount. And if I renew my Disney Plus every year, maybe I get more tokens. And maybe I can build a business of selling Disney t-shirts and I charge them in Disney tokens and people start building businesses. So you build a whole economy around Disney, of which there is one already. It's huge, mm -hmm. giant. But what's the difference here is as a token holder, I now share in the economic benefits of that community. So if the community becomes more valuable, then I make more money. My token goes up. It's an asset. Mm -hmm. So culture becomes an asset that you can invest in. This is game changing. Think of a world of TikTok, of influencers, of songs that come out now on social media. They're not driven by Spotify, they come out on TikTok. Now, what happens if you could invest in the IP rights of that song, of your favorite artist, and then make your own TikTok videos to try and drive its virality? You're helping the artist create network effects. Same with a new Disney film. So you're creating this new GDP, this new value system out of nowhere where you are fully aligned with that brand, influencer, musician, sports star, whoever it is, that's really big. And once you think that through, you realize, okay, well, where are the big tech players in all of this? Do they understand it yet? And it's very simple. Is It's in front of our eyes. It's Facebook DM. They've created, not only is it a stable coin to allow global commerce on their platform, 
of the biggest network on earth, three and a half billion people. But it's basically a token for the Facebook economy with three and a half billion people. What is that going to be worth? Who's going to build what on that? This is huge. And if they do it, well, probably YouTube has to do it and Spotify will do it and Apple will do it. So it's Mm. coming. People just can't see it yet. People only look at today and say, well, NFTs are about art and social tokens are for small YouTube influencers. This is just the start of where this is going. Are you convinced that crypto tokens like AXS and Smooth Love Token are similar to Oasis currency? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.